Assalamu salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Yaqad Zaman. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, enjoying yourselves. This is my YouTube channel, Roots of Knowledge. And as you guys know, I make videos to help you guys to understand the Arabic language. And this series is actually dedicated to helping you guys understand Mukhtasar Al Quduri. And I'm very, very, very sure that there are guys out there who are waiting, anticipating for me to restart Mukhtasar Al Quduri and complete Kitab Al Ijara and get onto Kitab Al Shufa. Okay, but anyway, without a delay, let's start it, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and share my videos with others as well. So first of all, let's check out the meanings of the words. Ujara is the plural of Ajir. Okay, so this is Ajir. And then you have Darbain. So Ajir, as you guys know, means uh, someone who's employed, an employee, a worker. And then Darbain is two types times two. Ajir, again, Mushtarak. Ajir Mushtarak means shared. Mushtarak means Ishtaraka, Yashtariku, Ishtirak. Mushtarak. Ajir Khas, Khasun. It means specific. Okay, so specific. Mushtarak man la yastahik istahaka yastahik to deserve, entitled. Al ujra is fi yamal to work. Sabbah is someone who dies. Qassar someone who washes. Mata goods. Amana trust. Halaka to perish. Yadman to to compensate. Uh, we don't know a lot of these words before. Talifa to become perished, to destroyed. Takhriq is to tear, to rip. Thawb is clothing. Zalaqa means to slip. Inqita to sever, to cut. Yashuddu means to tie. Al Mukari is the the guy who is uh, who actually. Mukari is basically the guy that hires out. Okay, so the you can actually refer to the guy that is hiring out, or you can refer to the guy is hiring. Al Hamal. Um, okay, so you should be Al Hamal. Hamal is like the 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 goods, the goods, the luggage. Gharq, um, gharqa, safina, gharq. It means to drown, sink. Safina is ship. Mud is to pull, yeah, to pull. Madmoon is compensated. Bani Adam, human beings. All these words are very, very familiar. That's why I don't really want to spend too much time in trying to elaborate on these words. Sakata to drop. Dabba is vehicle animal. Fasad al fasad. This is supposed to be fasad. Okay, not qasad. It's a mistake. So get rid of that. Oh, in fact, it's. Yeah, let's just put circle around there. It's supposed to be fa fasada, fasad al fasad. Okay, the fasad is the guy who draws blood, the blood drawer. Let's blood and bazag al bazag. So the bazag is a very is a similar. It's similar to the fasad bazag. Someone who like operates. You can almost say like operates on someone. It re re removes releases blood. Bazag al Bazag. Lam ya tajawaz. Tajawaz to go beyond. To go beyond. Al Maudi, the location. Okay, location. Mu'tad. Normal. Daman is a compensation. Ataba is to perish. Tajawaza to go beyond. Go beyond again. Ajir khas yastahiqu is to deserve. Ujra is fi taslim is handing over nafsahu himself. Mudda is period. Istajara to hire. Okay, raj shahar month ra'i is to herd. Herd sheep or goats. Talifa uh, to become destroyed. All right, yata'adda is to gross negligence. Gross negligence. All right, so let's have a look at the Tarkib side. Tarkib side is what some of you guys 
enjoy. All right, so Turkib. Well, Ujara'u Mubtada ala Darbain is the Khabar. Ajirun Mushtarakun. This is going to be the Badal. Or you can say Ajirin Mushtarakin. Whatever you want to say. Wa Ajirun Khasun. Fal Mushtaraku Mubtada. Man la yastahiku. Yastahiku. Al Ujarata. Mufool bihi. Hatta ya'mala. Kassabaghi wal Kassari. And then new sentence. وَالْمَتَاءُ أَمَانَةٌ فِي يَدِهِ إِنْ هَلَكَ لَمْ يَضْمَنْ شَيْئًا مَفْهُولْ بِهِ إِنْ دَأَبِي حَنِيفَةً وَقَالَ أَبُو يُوسُفَ وَمُحَمَّدٌ يَضْمَنُهُ وَمَا تَلَفَ يَتْلِفُ تَلَفَ بِعَمَلِهِ كَتَخْرِيقِ الثوب مضاف مضاف له من دقه دق يدقه وزلق ال uh, وزلق الحمال وانقطاع الحبل الذي يشد به المكاري الحملة وغر وغرق السفينة من مدها مضمون all this is the خبر yeah, so all of this is the خبر of ما تلف بعمله that's the مبتدا that's the خبر إلا أنه لا يضمن بني آدم كمن غار غرق غرق في السفينة أو سقط سقط من الدابة لم يضمنه إذا فاصد again فاز فا فاصد الفصاد أو بزغ البزغ لم يتجاوز كذا است تجاوز you guys know what that is الموضع المعتاد موصوف صفة مفول به فلا ضمان لا نفي الجنس فيما عطب من ذلك وإن تجاوز تجاوزه ضام نافر next new sentence ولأجير الخاص سوسي والأجير الخاص نا ولأجير والأجير so my mistake والأجير الخاص okay. هو الذي يستحق الأجرة مفول به بالتسليم نفسه في المدة وإن لم يعمل كمن استأجر رجلا شهرا للخدمة أو لرأي الغنم ولا ضمان على الأجير الخاص فيما تلف في يده جار مجرور ولا فيما تلف من عمله إلا أن يتعدى فيضمن Alright, so let's have a crack on and try to understand exactly what is happening over here What is the مسألة Alright, so we want to understand Mas'ala kiyahe Alright, so Al-Ujara, so you have two types of You have two types of Employees, okay Two types of workers That hide themselves out You have something which is known as a Ajir Mushtarak And you have something which is known as a Ajir Khas Alright, that's the two that you have to remember Now, because because of the different sort of um, agreements that they have, they actually can actually do different things. So, for example, like Ajir Mushtarak is basically someone who is like a freelancer who can work for who can work for multiple people at once, multiple employees, employers. Yeah, so he can work. Let's say, for example, for for let's say. This guy, he can work for this guy, he can work for this guy. As long as he gets the work done, that's that's the main thing. Ajir Mushtarak is all about getting the work done. Once he's got the work done, that is considered to be fine. Like for example, let's say you give your you give your clothes, right? So you give your clothes. This guy gives his clothes to this guy. Let's say for example a shirt. He wants his shirt done. And this guy gives his trousers, he wants his trousers done. And this guy gives, I don't know, his hat. He wants his hat done, washed, or fixed, or tailored. Then this guy basically is working for all three of them. Right? So this is called Ajir Mushtarak. As for the Ajir Khas, the Ajir Khas is that guy who is actually works for someone specific, only one person, and he dedicates all that time, let's say from 9 to 5, working for that individual. Right? So let's say, for example, this is his boss. So he's working for that one boss. That's it. 
So one of the main differences between these two is, if you were to draw this down, is that Ajir Mushtarak simply gets paid so long as he's done the job. And the Ajir Khas, he actually gets paid for the time he's given. Whether he gets the job done or not, doesn't really matter. It's the time that he's dedicated to it. Right, and he can only work in that specific time for that one guy. Does that make sense? So that's basically the difference between the two. Now, there are some questions that are raised over here with regards to with regards to Ajir Mushtarak and Ajir Khas. So for example, like what happens in regards to damage? Right. So if someone was to if this Ajir Mushtarak was to damage one of these clothing, what happens there? Yeah, so damage and likewise if the Ajir Khas was to damage something at work, then what happens over there? Right. So these are the two differences. These are two different ones. Damage, damage. Okay. So we'll come back to this and we'll fill it in, in a bit. I just want to show you guys what kind of things that we're going to be we're going to be looking at. So first of all, let's start off with the top then. So Al Ujara'u ala Darbain. Alright, so the the employees the guys who are going to hire themselves out are of two types. Ajir Mushtarak, right, this guy, and Ajir Khas, this guy. Mushtarak, man la yastahiq al ujrata, is the one who does not deserve a payment hatta ya'mal, until he does the job. Yeah, so like the clothing. He's got to do the job, finish it, complete it, then legally he gets to get the payment. Before that, he does not have legal rights to the payment. Like sab sabbah, like someone who dyes clothing, you give him some cloth, he dyes it red for you, he dyes it blue for you. Qasar is someone who washes cl clothing, um, so this is also someone. Now, wal mata'u amanatun fi yadihi. So the goods are actually in his hands as a trust. Yeah, so the goods are considered to be in a, a, a trust with him. So what if they get damaged then? So Abu Hanifa rahimahullah says, In halaka lam yazman shay'an. If they were to get damaged on their own, meaning not, not gross negligence, he didn't like tear them into pieces or do something crazy with them. They just, just got damaged on their own. So in the Abu Hanifa, nothing, nothing to pay. So let's put that down over here then. So Abu Hanifa, no, no pay. He does not have to pay a thing if he damages. All right. All right, what does the Sahibain say now? So Sahibain they say, وَقَالَ أَبُوْ يُوسُفُ Muhammad يَضْمَنُهُ He has to pay. This is where they differ on this issue. Yeah, Abu Yusuf and Muhammad, they say, you must pay. That's one of the main differences between Mushtarak and Khas. In Mushtarak, Abu Yusuf and Muhammad say, if it gets damaged, the guy must pay for it. So if the clothes got damaged by washing it or by sewing it, he's liable. All right. Okay. Uh, now what if, so this is if it happens on its own. Okay. Like you left it in the, in the workshop, you came the next morning and it just, it was just damaged. Yeah. I don't know, something, something happened to it. What if it gets damaged with your actions? So you're washing it, you're washing it, then what? So this is where there's a difference of opinion. This is, so this is different than this one. Not difference of opinion. This is different than the previous one. So he says, وَمَا تَلَفَ بِعَمَلِهِ And anything that gets damaged because of his action. He was working on it and he got damaged. كَتَخْرِيقِ ثَوْبِ مِنْ دَقِّهِ Like for example, tearing of the cloth because of when he's washing it, he's got to like rub it against a rock or something or I don't know, you know, scrubbing it against something and it tore. وَزَلْقِ hamal. Well, for example, let's say the guy, he hires someone to carry some goods from one, one destination to another, right? So he wants him to go from one destination to another. As he's, as he's taking it, the animal slips and the luggage falls out, something gets damaged. Yeah, so let's write this down. So for example, like tearing or slipping, yeah, or in al habal or the rope holding the the luggage gets torn when qita al habal alladhi yashuddu bihi al mukari al hamal the 
rope that he uses to inqita gets torn, the rope that he uses to tie the goods. So, you know, have you seen in those trucks when there's lots of goods in there and they have like ropes tying it down? So imagine, for example, someone's tied it down, but they're driving on the motorway and the rope tears, rips, and the goods fall out of the of the van. Or oh, the ship sinks, sinking of the ship because of pulling it. So they've tugged it, and by tugging it, it's caused damage, and that has caused the boat to, to sink. Yeah, so sinking of the boat. All right, so here, these are the four examples that he brings to show uh, that in all of these cases, in all of these cases, he is madhmoon. Yeah, he is considered to be liable for this. Yeah, he has to basically pay for this. Madmoon. Okay, so he's got to pay for all of this, but what if, let's say, so if a guy's washing clothing and he tears it, gets damaged, then he's liable. If a guy is, I don't know, sewing clothes and gets, he's liable. If you send, take your laptop, it's damaged to the repair shop and they're fixing it and they broke the screen, then they're liable. Yeah, they have to pay for it. Madmoon. The only thing that you're not liable for is human life. Human life, you don't have to pay for that. Yeah. So what's the example of human life that you don't have to pay for? So he says, "Illa annahu la yazman bihi bani Adam." He doesn't have to pay for human loss. So human loss doesn't have to pay. What does that mean? So that basically means is that let's say, for instance, you have I don't know a, a bus or something, and People came on the bus and they paid for, for the fare, for the ride. And the driver, I don't know, had an accident, hit someone. And some people lost their lives. Some people got injured. He doesn't have to pay for that. Right? So long as it wasn't gross negligence, doesn't have to pay. Doesn't have to pay for human loss. Like, for example, what's the example of human loss? Like, a human that has unfortunately drowned in a ship. Oh, sakata min dabati Or in them days, a person would be riding on top of a camel and then you pay. You know, you've probably seen it sometimes on the beach. In, I remember when I was in Pakistan, you can see on a camel or a horse, you pay them. Uh, and then you, you, they'll take you around the beach. Now, imagine you fell off that and you injured yourself. Yeah, Lam yazman hu. Doesn't have to pay for it. Okay, what if there's some sort of like a procedure, a medical procedure that someone's carried out on someone? Yeah, a medical procedure. So as for medical procedures, then the rule basically is as long as the person has not gone beyond what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, so medical procedure. Yeah. So as long as a person has not gone, either fasad al fasad, like fasad al fasad is to draw blood. So sometimes, I don't know, there might be some procedure where some blood needs to be drawn. Or bazagh al bazagh. So bazagh is also like drawing blood. It's usually in animals as well. Walam yatajawaz al mawdi al mu'tad. And he doesn't go beyond the normal place where, where the physician, the doctor, will cut. Yeah, so this could also apply to operations or anything like that. Fala damana alayhi fi ma'ataba min dalika. Then there is no compensation upon him. In what gets perished, what is damaged, dies, min dhalika. All right. So the person, basically, when it comes to medical issues, and when it comes to the human loss, the guy does not have to pay. All right. Okay. Wa in tajawazahu domina. However, if the person was to go beyond, was to go beyond that place, like for example, they're supposed to only cut a certain part of the arm. And they ended up cutting, I don't know, too much of it or the wrong place, then they have to pay for it. Now, all of this is what you have to understand about Ajir al Khas, right? Ajir al Mushtarak. What about Ajir Khas? What is an Ajir Khas? So let's have a look at Ajir Khas. He says, Ajir Khas, specific worker, right? Private employee, who alladhi yastahiqu is the one who deserves al ujra fi. بِتَسْلِيمِ nafsihi By handing himself over فِي الْمُدَّةِ So remember the times I told you. Remember I said to you 9 to 5 for instance. 9 to 5. 
he hands himself over for that particular duration of time. Yeah, nine to five. Uh, what in Lam Yamal, even if he doesn't do any work, as long as he's getting he simply gets paid for the hours. So some days he might have work, sometimes he might not have, not have any work. So he gives an example, he's come and rajulan, like a person who hires a person for a month, Lil Khidmati for service, like cooking or cleaning or or sheep herding. Damana and there is no daman. So here's where the damages. Yeah, the issue of the, the damages now. So there is no daman upon this guy. Al Ajir al Khas Fima Talafa in regards to anything that gets damaged, fi yadihi in his hands. So even if he was like sewing or doing something and he gets damaged, he's not responsible. Wala fima talafa min amalihi. Right? So anything that's hand in his possession or his action. So fi yadihi means in his possession, and amalihi means that he's doing the work on it. And he gets damaged. So let's say someone hires someone uh, as a mechanic in a in a garage. This is a Ajir Khas. Yeah, the, 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 the garage owner is employing him from nine to five. So he's damaged one of the car cars that he's working on. Right? That's Amal. Or the car that was in his possession, it just got damaged. Someone hit it, something happened. Then he's not responsible. Illa unless Yata he transgresses Fayyazman. In that case, he's responsible. Okay, so that is basically the difference between Ajir Mushtarak and Ajir Khas. That's all you have to remember Ajir Mushtarak and Ajir Khas is. Khalas, very easy, isn't it? Okay, let's ask some questions for you guys. What is the difference between Ajir Mushtarak and Ajir Khas in the, their definition? The difference between the two is Ajir Mushtarak is the one that can work for multiple people at the same time and is only paid when he produces the work. Ajir Khas, on the other hand, is a private employee that works for a specific individual and he works from a certain time to a certain time. Yeah, can't work for anyone else. Whether he gets the work done or not, he gets paid. Okay, what about damages? What about things that get damaged in their possession? So Abu Hanifa, in regards to the Ajir Mushtarak, he says no, no need to pay damages. Right? He doesn't need to pay damages. Sahibain, on the other hand, they say yes. Must pay damages. Yeah, must pay damages. This is if it's what in halaka, if it gets damaged. Okay, what about if it gets damaged because of his work? So he's working on it and he gets damaged. So in that case, he gives four examples: tearing of the rope, slipping, or sorry, tearing clothes, slipping of the animal, tearing of the rope, sinking of the ship. If all of these things happen because the guy has done some amal on it, then he's responsible for it. He has to pay. But if it's human loss, and if it's medical due to medical, as long as he's not, you know, done something strange, some medical procedure, then he's not responsible. Yeah. What about Ajir Khas then? What's the ruling regarding the damages? So the ruling is he is not responsible at all unless he clearly did gross negligence. That's the difference. Alright, so khalas, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button Let me know what you guys also think Of this new setup as well This new format of it, if you like it or not And uh, Thank you to my patrons who support my channel on a monthly basis If any of you guys like the work that I do And you think that you know it's worth Supporting and sponsoring Then please consider being a donor uh, to, the, to the channel You can support through Patreon, you can support through Paypal Whatever's easy for you And you can contact me as well, inshallah Zakhmullah khair guys uh, I'll see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa